From LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Good evening and thanks for joining us on BBN Tonight. I'm Keith Farmer. And I'm Josh Berry. And tonight, the UK men's basketball team falls just short in another heartbreaker at Rupp Arena. Yeah, we're going to also preview the Kentucky-Tennessee women's rematch. And later, you'll hear from track and field star Abby Steiner, who was named SEC Co-Runner of the Week. Well, the guys may have fallen short again, but they showed some real fight at the very end. A recap of last night's Kentucky basketball game is tonight's big blue story presented by Baptist Health. We all know the Cats have struggled in the final minutes of their recent losses, specifically the final four minutes. But last night, the team fought back after Arkansas took a 12-point lead with six minutes to play, and some thought it was over. The Cats regained the lead when Davion Mintz hit the go-ahead three with 12 seconds to play. But then a questionable foul call on the other end put the Hogs at the line to hit go-ahead free throws and a potential game-winning possession. Kentucky turns it over. The Cats are now 5-13 and 13 this season. And one of those, I told them today, they've worked hard enough and had enough bad things happen to them. They deserve something good to happen. But no one is giving it to you. you got to take it. We got closer today to taking it. Like I said after the game, hard for me to be mad. I wanted to win the game. I'll look at the stuff down the stretch to see how I feel. But the reality of it is the team fought and they executed and they, they threw daggers today. Finally, guys threw daggers. Josh, we'll break down the game later on in the show with Mike Pratt of the UK Sports Network. But what's your take on this latest loss? Keith, they did everything right. Mm -hmm. They literally did everything right except for allowing the Razorbacks to go on an 11 nothing run early in the mm -hmm. second half, which is what caused the comeback effort in the first place. Mm -hmm. um, and also, you know, they won in every single statistical category. Uh, they, they dominated the boards, but the one offensive board that they needed to get <laughs> Yeah. was right there with that questionable foul call that you just mentioned. Yeah. Again, I, I know I sound like a broken record, but my JV coach is right. If you box out, you, you, got, you have a chance you of getting that rebound. <laughs> you have a chance of getting that win. The number 20 UK women's basketball team looks to get back in the win column tomorrow night when the Cats take on 16th ranked Tennessee at Rupp Arena. Kentucky is coming off a disappointing loss at Ole Miss in their latest outing before having an open date last Sunday. The Cats had won three straight games in the series with the balls before falling earlier this season in Knoxville 70 to 53. Here's what coach Kyra Elzey had to say about the rematch. Well, one thing, um, we didn't have our best showing um, in Knoxville, and so we were very disappointed um, about that. And then as far as preparation, you know, you go back to, uh, to work, and, and the things that we did not do um, the first game, uh, box out consistently, um, push the ball in transition, uh, attacking the ball screen. So those are all things that we have to go back um, and make an adjustment on. Keith, uh, the women's basketball team had a season low in shooting percentage against Tennessee at Tennessee when they played them. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen this time around. I think this is a must win. I think, you know, bad showing last time out, bad showing last time they played Tennessee. I think you want to let the SEC know you're still here. And, and so I think it's a must win, especially playing in Rupp Arena on Thursday. All right, the end season hype continues for Ryan Howard. The Kentucky junior is on more watch lists for National Player of the Year, including the Cheryl Miller Award the Dawn Staley Award and Jersey Mike's Naismith Trophy. Howard leads the Wildcats this season by averaging 20 points per game, adding seven rebounds. She is second on the team with 56 assists and 27 steals while leading the team with 34 three-pointers. I mean, she is an absolute beast mm. on the floor, Keith. I mean, I love, watch. I love watching her play. She makes everything so easy. And that's what Robin Benton said uh, a couple weeks ago. It's so easy just being out on the floor and just being able to just follow in your role because you know when it comes down to the waning moments of the game and the game is tight, you know that Ryan is going to show up each mm -hmm. and every time. Turning to Kentucky football, the program has landed another transfer from Michigan State by way of Ohio wide receiver Trayvon Morgan tweeted out that it was his birthday and he woke up a Wildcat. That news followed another addition for 2021 redshirt sophomore quarterback Will Livis. He'll come to Lexington from Penn State. 
Keith, I used to cover Penn State um, <laughs> up in State College. Uh, what do you think about the new additions for the Cats? I, I think both are big. I think especially, uh, you know, with Morgan being the wide receiver, I mean, you, he didn't get to do a lot, but he is a large target at 6'6", at six, six, some say 6'7", and, and I think he could make maybe play a big role on the outside or maybe even at tight end. We'll have to wait and see what happens there. Let's end the segment with men's soccer. Kentucky resumed the current season with a bang, outlasting Xavier 2-1 to one in overtime yesterday. The Cats' spring opening contest was ended by sophomore forward Itor Bjorgolfsson, whose sixth career game-winning goal came by way of his first career penalty kick. UK is now 6-1. and one. They're back in action on Saturday, hosting Bowling Green. All right, coming up next on BBN Tonight, I'll go one-on-one -on -one with Abby Steiner. The Kentucky track and field star is coming off a great week of competition. More with her when we return.